Hello and welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and today I want to talk about something that's quite often discussed in the comments in my videos and it's to do with finding the right words. And I had a message from um, Stephen 11 hours ago to the making of this video and his message was, I can't organise my thoughts and deliver a clear answer to impromptu questions. Can someone suggest me techniques that will help me advance? So it's interesting this idea of being impromptu and you know improvising and being put on the spot and not already have a pre-planned answer worked out for the question or for the conversation that you're in. And a lot of people suffer from from uh, insecurity and there seems to be a lack of confidence and a lack of self-assuredness that gives them, I don't know, any right to speak or they don't feel like there is, um, that what they have to say is going to be good enough or, or it's worthy enough or it has any value. People are insecure and we don't always feel valued and if you hold this opinion of yourself it's going to affect you know, the, the connection that you can make with other people. If, if you if you were speaking to someone and they ask you a question and you weren't expecting that question, depending on how you feel about yourself is, is going to be how you answer. If you know the answer, it's because you know yourself and you're comfortable with that particular line of questioning. But if it's something you you might feel that you're not too good at or something that you just didn't expect the question and hadn't and want to be prepared because you're you're a afraid of failing or afraid of getting it wrong or looking silly, then this is more down to your psychology than it is your physicality. It's not your voice that's getting in your way, it's your, it's your emotions that are hindering the process of you connecting your brain to your body. So and emotions really are stored in your body, so they are some way... It, it, what we need to do is try and find a way to release that, to allow things to flow, whether you like it or not, but so you don't get stuck and you don't feel like you're, you are stuck. And it is down to choosing your attitude and making a choice about how you speak to others, whether you like it or not. And if you haven't thought about doing this before, then maybe that now is a good opportunity. You're always going to be put on the spot. There's always going to be ways that you feel bad about something. But if you have a value or something that you know you believe in and can stand behind, then whatever question people ask you, you can use that to drive an answer as opposed to worrying about the correct response you should be making. So I'd like to give you an example of this. For example, if I was to say to myself, I am confident and no matter what anybody says to me, whatever question comes my way, I will not think, oh I don't know the answer or hmm, how shall I think about this? I will just say I'm going to answer with confidence something and I won't even think about it. My body will believe somehow that I am confident and an answer will come. You don't have to control what comes out of your mouth. Your body's, your mind and, you know, and, and emotions are all connected. It happens anyway. I'm pretty much ad-libbing all the time on these videos. I know what I'm talking about. I've got some bullet points to keep me, you know, uh, going, you know, in the right um, order so I don't get too confusing. And sometimes, like, even this video is, a, is I'm probably rambling right now. However, I've said to myself that communication is key and if it takes me longer to get this message across, then it takes me longer. If it takes you longer or you might stutter or stammer, then that's what you do. But don't ever feel that the way someone thinks about you is, is accurate to what you believe about yourself. Telling yourself that you can and giving yourself permission to speak is a very good attitude to take in not allowing other people's judgments to affect you. And so if you feel that you're not worthy or not valuable or what you have to say isn't going to be good enough or you don't know what to say, it's because probably you're trying to control what other people think of you and you can't do that. Everything you say will, will be taken subjectively by, by everyone you meet and it's always going to be different. So you can't really preempt what other people feel. It's an insecurity and that comes through in the fact that you lose your words and that comes through in the fact that you might um, 
have received information in the past from people or feedback which has made you feel bad or a certain way and therefore you're stuck in this little loop. So find something that you can use to change your attitude and stick with it and try it out and test it. So say today I'm going to be confident and hold your chest up and your shoulders back like that. Relax your belly and when you go out into the world say I am confident. Just tell yourself for that in the head. I'm confident. I'm confident. I am confident. And have a conversation with someone and see if you can answer in a confident way. Just don't worry about the content. You could say blah 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 but say it with confidence and you'll feel better about it, honestly. And what will happen is if you practice with this attitude or this characteristic as an actor might say, after a while you start getting more comfortable with playing that attitude because at the end of the day everything that you think about yourself and everything you've learned in life has been learned from your environment. You've picked it up. You've decided to do what you do. You've decided somehow along the lines to feel insecure and to feel that you can't or you're not good enough or you don't have anything to say or to share. So now you're going to have to decide and it might take some time to be confident and to speak with confidence and ease and clarity. These aren't bad traits to have if you want to communicate better with others. And so you've just got to take them on board as an attitude and play with that attitude. The words will come, trust me, but it might take some time and you're going to have to keep practicing being that and remind yourself because you're going to fall back into your old ways. Right? This is so, this is a slightly different kind of video and this is a slightly different kind of method. But it works for some people and, and for maybe for a few of you, maybe even you Stephen who left that message, it might work for you. So don't say that it's your voice or it's other people or that you can't or you get stuck. Forget that. Just say I'm confident it's been a, and, and, and forget about the problem. Just say I'm confident. I'm a very good speaker. I'm clear and articulate and confident. And then just use that as a way to uh, answer anything and if you get stuck you get stuck but you're confident just keep saying that to yourself keep saying it keep practicing it and eventually you will believe it because that's how you learn everything you already have about yourself hopefully that's helpful my name's Darren McStay this is Improve Your Voice and until the next time look after your voice <laughs>